We'll start with uh, we'll start with one of the bigger ones: Fiend versus Bray Wyatt. Or um, no, no, I'm sorry, the Fiend Bray Wyatt versus Daniel Bryan. Maybe a triple threat match <laughs> for the Universal Chain. What if we wrestle Rant Radio without some fucking botches here? Uh, Fiend Bray Wyatt versus Daniel Bryan, Universal Championship. Um, I love their match from the Rumble five years ago. But it seems like with this Fiend character, which I love, they're really going head over heels and protecting it, which I like. But to a certain extent, I don't just because they made the guy look like he was invincible. Like he could take five bullet shots to the friggin' head and still survive and kick out a two. Um, so I'm not really sure how this match is going to shake out. I will say, though, the build has been very underwhelming because it started via a fucking backstage beatdown two weeks ago. And then they had that Miz TV last week, which kind of also fell flat. And that's really it. Of course, we have SmackDown on Friday. Maybe they'll do something then to heat it up. Otherwise, though, this has been a very underwhelming build to what should be a big match. I would argue that Daniel Bryan would be the perfect person to take that title from Bray Wyatt, but obviously won't be the case. Um, It's very obviously filler, and I guess they could plant the seeds here and and, and do a non-finish to set up a rematch for the TLC pay-per-view next month. Um, which, you know, could be a ladder match or a tables match, a chairs match even, who knows, which it, it always kind of seems like they do that type of shit at Survivor Series, even though it's one of their bigger pay-per-views, they almost always have their big championship match end in a fucking non-finish because TLC's right around the corner. Um, obviously, Bray Wyatt just won the title. would be a mistake to take it off of him so soon. They have done dumber. Um, I don't see it happening here, so I say The Fiend retains the title. What do you say, RJ? Uh, it's kind of, I, I would agree with you. It has to be Wyatt. Um... I don't know, like, I, I, I've liked the character so far out of the ring, in the ring, I think that's too much, he's like too over you have to stand there trying to protect him, but like, his matches have suffered, I'm well, kind of burned, I mean, I mean, Seth Rollins did literally everything, and just like, he just like no-sold it, I don't know, I like the character, but in the ring, I just don't like the character, and I fucking hate the red light. I was going to say, what's the over-under and the red light being abolished on Sunday? I'm hoping it is. It's so fucking annoying. (laughs) It's really stupid. It hurts like... It hinders my enjoyment of the match just because it comes across as so dumb and unnecessary. Um, It doesn't make it scarier. It doesn't make it more intimidating. It's just completely dumb. So I really hope they get rid of that on Sunday. Um, But I like Daniel Bryan, though. I don't know where this thing is going with him and the yes movement. It looked like they were building to a babyface Daniel Bryan, which I assume that's where they're going with this. But it kind of came across as a bit heelish on uh, on SmackDown last week. So we'll see. But either way, I do see this ending well for Bray Wyatt. Still the Universal Champion. 